So, EA just dropped the 78 plus upgrade. We are going to open a bunch of these and hopefully get some ones to watches. If you guys want some cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out MMOEXP. There is a link in the description of the video and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. It feels good to be doing that intro again. We finally have our first upgrades of FIFA 23. I say that like we're not three days into the full release of the game, but we have 78 plus upgrades. Now, these are incredibly cheap. They're only a uh, six gold squad to submit, which you, you can be six gold non-rares, you could be six gold rares, and you get yourself a 78 plus um, pack, one player pack, essentially, which I can't lie, aren't going to be great most of the time. You, I would expect most of them to be non-boards and non-walkouts, but they're the first upgrades. They're incredibly cheap. I thought we'd open up 50 of them and see what we get. So hopefully... We can get ourselves some ones to watches. And the good news is, if you do get a ones to watch, it can't be Tyler Adams. Thank you. That's all we want. As long as it's not Tyler Adams, I don't mind. Even if it's, I wouldn't mind if it's Taliso. I just don't want Tyler Adams. I've seen him far too many times this weekend to warrant wanting to see him anymore. I've seen him more than his family have, I reckon, this weekend. Um, imagine that was messy. Whoo! Okay, we got our first board, Di Maria. I thought that was going to be messy. I honestly, did, I honestly thought that'd be messy. Um, well, that's tradable, so that's not bad. We got ourselves our first board in Angel Di Maria. One in five so far. Not too bad. We get bad to back boards. Let's go. It's Argentina. It's right wing. Um, we got our first board in Di Maria. Honestly, I thought that was going to be messy. I really did. Uh, we got our first board in Di Maria. Not too bad. Uh, one in five so far. Uh, let's go. We open our next one. What are we saying? Oh, imagine it was three in a row. I went for the Nepenthes cheeky little Kalo Navas. I went for the clip. I went for the clip. Um, we guess I was Christian though. That's all right. Overall, like, I think what you're looking for here is not really... You're not looking for those huge walkouts. I feel like most people can agree. You're probably not getting ones to watch Haaland. You're probably not getting Mbappe. You're probably not getting Ronaldo or or even Messi or anything like that. However, what I think we're looking for in these is your Eder Militao's, your Kunde's, your... Um, your Gucci Samaximans, Anthony's ones to watch, but if it wasn't, if he wasn't ones to watch, Anthony as well. The lower rated, super expensive, um, meta cards is what we're looking for here. So, uh, realistically, that's what we want. Obviously, you can't get heroes in these, you can't get icons in these, so it is only golds that we're looking for, but some expensive golds would be very nice, um, in these packs, realistically, you know, your, your Gucci's and whatnot. Um, so hopefully we can get some of these cards that can definitely improve teams. However, we are 10 packs in and we've had two boards and they've both been Di Maria. It's not looking good so far, is it? We've not had the best of starts with these packs. Uh, hopefully they're going to improve in the next 40 because we've done 50 of these, which means we've submitted 300 gold players, most of them non-rare, which means what? 300 gold non-rares at 300 coins each. It's about 90,000 coins worth of players, give or take roughly maybe 100k uh we'd like to try and make some of those coins back realistically that's what we're looking to do and uh, so far it's not looking good if you guys have opened some of these let me know in the comments down below what you guys have packed i always check the comments i don't reply to the comments all the time but i actually read comments every day uh it's part of my morning routine when i'm out on my walk i go through my comments and read them and see what people are saying um so let me know in the comments down below what you guys got if you open any of these packs even if you got nothing i'm intrigued to hear if you got nothing if you got something um aguero there yeah hakimi would be nice I would like an untradable Hakimi. He's worth a good chunk of coins. Um, that would be very, very nice. You know, an untradable Tamori, for example. Untradable Theo Hernandez. Untradable Marcos Llorente. We do get a board here. Let's go. Spain. CDM. It is going to be Busquets. 85 rated. That is prime time fodder. But EA are releasing a lot of player SBCs right now. So I don't mind fodder. We've got Valverde. We've got the Dynamic Duo. We've got... Um, apparently, we're getting a play of the month Gakpo soon as well. So... Yeah, so far, I mean, it's, we'll take any fodder we can get, really. I wouldn't mind, like, a cheeky little Tony Cruz or something as well. Or a Kalor Navas, while we're talking about, uh, we're talking about cheeky. Would not mind it. All right, we've got 33 of these packs remaining. 33 78 plus rated gold cards. Is that Suarez? No, it's Rossi. Okay, brilliant. All right, well, not ideal. I thought Suarez, Suarez is not a bad fodder card, to be fair. He's a Libertadores card this year, or a Conor Ball, whatever they're called. Um, he is one of those, like, those, those special cards that we just saw. Um, so that's a pretty good one to get if you can get him. Oh, Julian Alvarez might be worth a little bit still. No, he's not. He he was needed for the hybrid nations, I think it was, or the hybrid leagues. But I don't think that he is part of the easy to do uh, 
like solution anymore. Hey, we get another board. It's going to be Argentina left back this time. Acuna, 85. Not bad. Again, fodder. But I'll take an 85 Acuna. Not too shabby. Um, a lot of people I've been seeing, I've been trying him in centre mid as well. He's got really good stats for a centre mid. Um, back to back boards. Let's go. It's going to be French centre mid. Paul Pogba, who apparently on lengthy is absolutely sensational. Obviously, the talk of the town right now is lengthy versus explosive versus controlled acceleration types. And supposedly, Pogba on lengthy is phenomenal. So, I might have to give that a go because he's got five-star skills and, you know, he's got a decent card already. He's got good dribbling, good shooting, good passing. I feel like on lengthy, he might be a solid box-to-box -box midfielder. Definitely one I've got to give a go. Um, we get into the board here. Let's go. It's going to be... Who is this? Matip? Okay. Joel Matip. It's all right. It's not too bad. Um, I was so confused for a second. I was like, I was like, Eto? Uh, not too shabby. We yet to get a walkout or a wants to watch or an inform. Um, but we do get another board here. It's going to be French centre back. Ooh, speak of the devil we talked about earlier. Jules Kunde, who might already be untradeable. I've got a ridiculously good set of untradeable centre backs. I've got Varane, Eder Militao, and Jules Kunde. So, although that's class, and he is worth a good amount of coins. Um, oh, we got another board. What is Kunde worth? Jules Kunde is worth 80,000 coins. As good as that is, I do have him untradeable already. Uh, we get ourselves Zapato, who is, again, a duplicate untradeable. So, kind of annoying, but I will take it. That's a good pull. That is a good pull. Um, I'm not too disappointed with that. We guys have a German non-board. Is Klosterman? No, Tar. All right, we've got 22 of these packs left. So far, the best pull has been Jules Kunde, 80k card. It can be very hard to top that. You will need a big pull to get better than Jules Kunde, but I feel like there's potential. There is definitely potential to get something good here. I'm just waiting for it, realistically. I just want to see it all go purple. I just want to see a wants to watch, even if it's like, if, even if it is Tolisso. You know, I just want to see a wants to watch. That's all I want, EA. Come on. What we got here? Absolutely nothing again. Brilliant. At the end of the day, it is the you know the first week of FIFA. I'm not surprised that these packs aren't necessarily like 85 plus player picks already or whatever. Like these aren't 85 times tens. I get it. It's the first week of FIFA. Um, you know, I'm still I'm still quite satisfied with what we've had so far. Um, and I quite like that they're releasing upgrades and dynamic duo SBCs and things like that already in the first week. It feels like they are going to be doing some good content this year, and I'm all for it. I do not mind it at all. Um. Can we get something good, though, EA, in one of these remaining packs? That's at least a board. Oh, I, might, I thought it might have been Valverde. Valverde is no longer an inform, so, you know, you can get his normal gold card in packs now. I thought that might have been Valverde and tradable. He is worth probably around the same as Kunde, I think. Um, but sadly, it wasn't. Sadly, it was not. And we're back to getting the non-boards again. It's going to be French centre-back. That is Niacate, my guess. Konate, he's worth, like, 3k, I think, still. So, that's not too bad. Um, we are down to our last 16 of these packs. We're after this 15. We're down to our last 15 of these packs. So, percentage-wise, like, less... What is that? Like, just over a quarter? Something like that? I, I don't really know the maths. Uh, we've got a lot of these packs left anyway. Can we get something good in the last 15, EA? Can we get ourselves our first walkout in the last 15? That is what we're looking for. We're still looking for our first walkout. 14 of these left. Come on. Show us our first walkout, EA. Please, man. Unlucky number 13. Come on. Walk us out, please. That is at least something. What's that? Spanish centre-back. It is Pau Torres, who had a cracking game at the weekend. But aside from that, like, he is worthless on this game. He's absolutely worthless. He is prime time fodder, sadly. Um, but if you get some special cards, he might be decent. We're back to getting nothing again. Brilliant. Hey, we get something. It is French centre-mid. Lamar. I thought it might have been another Pogba, to be honest. It is Lamar this time. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, he's sadly not worth anything. But if you're rocking an RTG and you get him in a pack, he's actually a good card to use. I use him on my RTG. Uh, back to back boards. It's going to be Alaba. Hey, our first walkout. We got ourselves David Alaba. That's a W. That is actually class. 52,000 coin. So we've had Kunde and Alaba. My. My collection of untradeable CBs uh, continues to grow. I now have Alaba added to that collection. That's a W, though. We get ourselves our first walkout in these packs. I am very happy with that. David Alaba, still no ones to watch, still no inform. But so far, we've had Kunde and Alaba, which is decent, which is decent. Um, I'm quite happy so far. We get ourselves something here. Ah, we're not looking. We're looking for Inform Ericsson right now. That's the only game we're looking for right now. Come on, come on. Anyway, we've got seven left. Lucky number seven. 
Oh, that's something. Brazil. CDM Casemiro. No, it's going to be Fernando. Brilliant. I think I've already got him untradeable as well. Most of my cards now are untradeable as well. I don't even know how I'm building up so many untradeables. Like, maybe two player packs that I open every day. Probably is. Um, we have got five packs remaining. We've got one-tenth of the packs remaining now. 10%. We're down to our last 10%, our last five packs. I keep opening that stupid menu as well. It's really annoying. All right, come on. Can we get something good in one of the remaining five? There's nothing in that one. It's going to be a Belgian. It's probably going to be like... I was gonna say I was gonna say uh, Mignolet, but it's uh, Vertonghen. All right, come on, four left. Come on, these yeah, these have been alright to be fair. I spent roughly ninety-ish to a hundred k on the packs in terms of opportunity cost of the golds, and we have had Kunde is worth eighty k, Alaba is worth fifty k, uh, two eighty-fives, an eighty-four. So far, like we have made a really really good return on these, so I'm quite happy with that. I am uh, I am quite happy with that. All right, we have got th two left, two left EA. Can we end it off with a cracking pull? There's nothing in that one. We've got one of these packs remaining. Pepe, brilliant. All right, last pack. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you, lads. As moon. Later.